Hey, what's up? My name is Zee Nick and thank you so much for joining me today. In case you missed part one of this video, definitely be sure to check it out using the link above. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Picking things up with boot number three, we have one of my favorites, which I purchased a few years ago. This is the over the knee heel boot with contrasting toe from Zara. To kick things off, we have the JT inspired outfit from part one. Now I wanted to show you guys how a different pair of boots can completely change the look and feel of the outfit. So in this case, with these blue boots and on top of a black outfit, I think it really does just give it a pop and it gives it more of a going out type of vibe. Now, similarly for the next look, we do have another familiar outfit from part one. But again, I wanted to show you guys how a different pair of boots changes the feel of the outfit. And honestly, for me, I do prefer these blue over knee boots paired with this skirt. Um, although the colors are not an exact match, it still does give it a bit of a pop. And I think the actual texture of the boot, so the silkiness of the boot, matches really well with the texture of the silk skirt. And the length of it. So with the length of the skirt meeting the length of the over the knee boots, or more so the thigh high boots, I think it just gives it a really cute, classy spin to this outfit. Versus the black boots that I had in part one that gives it more of a grunge feel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, for an extra flair on top of an already extra skirt and an already extra pair of boots, I decided to pair the skirt, which is actually from Zara, I did not mention that, um, with this Zara coat. So for me, it just gives it, you know, that extra, if you just want to go out and be extra, which is okay, you guys, this is the look that you're getting with this jacket. Up next, we have a short sleeve mixed print blazer dress from Zara. Now honestly you guys, you can never go wrong with a blazer dress paired with over the knee or thigh high boots. I think even the length of the dress with the length of the boots or the height of the boots pairs really nicely. And also although this is a lot, you know there is a lot going on with the dress with the mixed print, I think the boots still go well together especially because of that subtle hint of blue. And I just love kind of playing on colors like that. Okay, so I decided to switch things up a bit to give you guys more of a classier look. So here we have a midi dress from Misguided paired with these over the knee boots. Now typically I would pair this type of dress with some heels, but honestly I think these boots work well, especially because of the silk material. And it does give you that kind of cocktail feel, but maybe more so for the winter time. When it comes to fashion, one thing that I love doing is mixing textures, tones, and styles in a way that really complements each other and it doesn't seem like it's fighting each other. And I think I accomplished that with this look. So with this look, we have a soft lavender color blazer from Banana Republic, and I paired it with a more edgier acid wash tone mini skirt from Zara. Now what ties it all together, in my opinion, is the navy blue turtleneck and the navy blue over the knee boots. And honestly, this is kind of giving me like 90s type of vibe, like the movie Clueless pretty much. That's the kind of vibes that I'm getting and I definitely love this outfit. Okay, so with this outfit, I decided to kind of just step outside of the box and just have fun with this look. So I have this champion jersey dress paired with those over the knee boots. Now typically, you probably wouldn't pair this together, but I honestly love just kind of exploring new things and having fun with fashion. So I decided why not to kind of just mix the two different styles together and see what I come up with. And I wore this to brunch and I think it works really well. Switching things over to another favorite of mine. This is a Steve Madden booty. Um, I do have more information about these on my boot haul video, which I'm linking right above. Okay, so remember how I was just saying that I love mixing prints and tones, but in a way that complements each other and doesn't fight with each other? So in this case with these boots, since they are such a statement piece with the patchwork and the different colors and tones going on, I wanted to keep the outfit, at least the colors of the outfit, very neutral. And that's what I decided to do here. So with the top, which I have gotten from, I think it was Forever 21, I paired it with these pants from Uniqlo. Now a really cool thing about these pants, or these trousers, they have a sweatpants material feel, but they actually look like trousers. But overall, I think these, color, these colors blend really nicely with these boots. Here we have a off the shoulder top from Fashion Nova paired with a high waisted midi skirt from Urban Outfitters. 
Now, I absolutely love the skirt, love the top, but together with the boots, I'm not too sure if I like it. So again, these boots are more of a statement piece, and I think with the top and the skirt with a lot, you know, it has those own little accent pieces with the off the shoulder and the buttons going down the midi skirt, raw hem. I think there's a lot going on. So looking at it, I would likely just go ahead and pair the skirt with a simple solid color uh, turtleneck, long sleeve turtleneck, and I think that would go really well with the skirt and the boots. So for this look, we have a off the shoulder top from Pretty Little Thing paired with these really cute jeans from Uniqlo, these wide legged high waisted jeans from Uniqlo. Now you can kind of see what I mean here. I decided to keep it simple and the only thing that's really kind of just popping are the shoes and the purse. Now don't mind the purse straps. I filmed this video the day after I got the purse, so the purse was like fresh out the box. Um, so don't mind that, but I think, you know, keeping it simple with the white top, simple jeans, it really does give the opportunity for the shoes and the purse to have a shine of its own. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, looking at this on the camera, I'm not too crazy about the fit of this look. I think what's throwing me off is the length of the pants and the top that's hitting my torso. I don't know, something just a little bit off. But overall, I do like the colors together. I got the pants from Zara and I paired it with the top, off the shoulder top from Fashion Nova. All right, so for boot number five, we have Circus by Sam Elderman, Karina High Shaft Crocodile Print Boots. Now I do go into details about this boot. It is featured using the same link that I mentioned for the red patchwork boots. Okay, so at this point I needed a quick cake break because you guys, we are at outfit number 25 and I was exhausted, okay? But for this look we have a off the shoulder crop top from Forever 21 and I paired it with this really cute midi skirt from Uniqlo. Now this is what I meant earlier when I was saying I love pairing midi skirts with boots or booties. And I think this is done a little bit better here because the compliments really, sorry, because the colors really do complement each other. So nothing is really fighting for attention in this case um, compared to what I think happened with the other midi skirt and the booties. Um, but what do you guys think? Does it work here? Work a little bit better? For this look, I decided to tone things down a bit and show a more casual look. So we have a cute top from Misguided. I am wearing it off the shoulder, but it is actually a square neck top, which you will see in a second. And I paired it with these black pants from Uniqlo. But really, I just wanted to show you guys how to pair a simple top with pants for these tall over the knee boots to give the boots the attention that it really does deserve. All right, so now we're gonna layer things up a bit with this jacket cord piece from Misguided. Underneath is the crop top from Forever 21. Paired with it are these black high-waisted wide leg jeans from Uniqlo. Now, I did wanna kinda give the illusion of a booty boots for this look, which is why I decided to wear the jeans over the boots. Um, but overall, I love this. I can wear the jacket off the shoulder kind of, you know, switch things up for the night or whatever, but let me know what you guys think about this look. All right, and for look number 28, we have this beautiful mustard color shirt dress from Zara, and I paired it with the knee-high boots and this red purse from Marc Jacobs. Now, honestly, this is such a simple look. The shirt dress is very casual, but I think pairing it with these boots and the purse, which I was clearly struggling with, I think it really just kind of elevates the look from casual to more of a chic going out type of vibe. What do you guys think? Also be sure to have some biker shorts underneath because this dress is definitely on the shorter side. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed what you saw and you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate the support. Turn your notifications on and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which of these looks were your absolute favorite. And if you haven't realized already on my channel, on my videos, we are practicing gratitude over here. So before we go, um, I encourage you guys, if you would like, to practice gratitude with me. And what that means is 
expressing what you're thankful for. So you can either journal that, you can maybe do that through acts of kindness, or if you want to join me in the comments below when you're showing me or you're telling me which of these looks are your favorite, let me know also something that you're grateful for. All right, but thank you guys so much for joining and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.